development of a children. Why is teaching emotional development important? According to the National Center for Safe and Supportive Learning Environments, strong emotional development leads to five key skills. Self-awareness, social awareness, emotional regulation, responsible decision-making, and relationship build. These skills in turn influence success at school, at home, in communities, and in society. Uh, it is critical that we teachers or parents should teach our children or our pupils how to manage emotional development so that when they grow up, they will use or they will always use it in a positive way rather than in a negative way. On the other hand, those who are not given emotional guidance often struggle emotionally, academically, physically, and behaviorally. If you cannot notice, express, and manage your emotions, it is incredibly difficult to focus on school, make friends, or work on a team. So emotional development affects all development. So there are three major emotional stages in childhood development. First, noticing emotions. So ito po yung from birth to one year old. Second, expressing emotions. Ito naman po from two to three years old. And th third, managing emotions. So three to five years old. Let's first tackle about the noticing emotion or from birth to one. There are a lot of different theories about how emotions develop and function. Some think we are born with only three emotions, happiness, anger, and fear. Others believe that babies are capable of feeling a much wider range from the birth. It is impossible to know for sure when they can't tell us. But through crying and cooing, babies certainly communicate something. So at this stage, an infant is discovering the world. Good things like cuddles, bad things like full diapers. They are noticing how everything makes them feel. How to foster growth in this stage? So first, create a safe, consistent environment. When they know that you will be there for them, they are more likely to take risks necessary for development. Children are born with needs and desires. So, kapag ang isang bata ay comfortable sa iyo because you build a positive relationship with them, children feel safe and secure. Next, encourage self-soothing. Though some are quick to discourage behaviors like thumbsucking, this helps children sort themselves and it is the first step to regulating emotion. So it can be difficult not to step in and fix the issue, but if you want a child to be able to manage their emotions later on, it is important to let them figure some things out on their own. So it is important to let them figure out on their own, for example, we sing a stress ball, listening to a music. So, maraming mga bata po na halimbawa umiiyak. Tapos, pag uh, patugtugan po natin sila ng music ay biglang tumatahan o tumitigil sa pag-iyak. Halimbawa naman po, taking a warm bubble bath. Mm, gustong gusto po yan ng mga bata. Taking a shower. And the last, going for a walk. Kung mapapansin natin ngayong pandemic, dahil ang mga bata ay nasa loob lang palagi ng bahay, tapos pag sinabihan po natin sila or uh, yayain po natin sila na lumabas ay 
tuwang-tuwa po sila, yung hindi po mapagsidlan ang kanilang tuwa. Iba-iba naman po ang ugali ng mga bata. Pero based po sa experience ko sa mga anak ko, may mga instances po na kahit binubuhat na po namin sila o kaya'y sinasayaw na po namin sa loob ng bahay, ay hindi pa din po sila tumitigil sa kakaiyak. Kaya minsan, bigla po namin silang nilalabas. So doon, pag nasa labas na po kami, ay bigla na po silang tatahimik. And number three, show your emotion. So no matter what stage, children mirror their caregivers by matching a child's facial expressions and vocalizing your feelings you can help a child notice both their emotions and yours this will also help you practice being an emotional role model. always be there for our child especially when he or she needs attention like she wants to play with you even if you are busy doing your job try to respond to their needs. So, marami po tayong ginagawa. Kanyari, mar marami mga paperworks na pinapapasa. Tapos, mapapansin natin yung anak natin, di ba? Mama, gusto ko maglaro. Mama, gusto ko ng ganito. So, hindi po natin pwede sabihin na, mamaya na anak, tatapusin ko muna po ito. Kasi hindi din po sila titigil. O, minsan ang ginagawa ko po dyan, pag halimbawa, di ba, dalawa po sila. So, marami po akong ginagawa. Tinatap, halimbawa, may pinapapasa si chairman, ganito, ganyan. So, kahit ginagawa o nagmamadali po akong gumawa, ay binibigyan ko sila ng time na, or binibigyan ko sila ng time para makipaglaro sa kanila. Kasi ganun din naman po. Minsan, hindi po sila titigil sa kakaiyak hanggat hindi mo po sila pinapansin. So, minsan po ang ginagawa ko, bibigyan ko po sila ng activities tulad po sa mga anak ko. Bibigyan ko sila ng laruan tulad ng blocks. Pag medyo tahimik na po sila, saka ko naman po gagawin yung uh, school works or paper works. Proceed to second emotional stages in childhood development, which is expressing emotions. So, ito naman po ay para sa mga batang 2 to 3 years old. Proceed to stage number 2, expressing emotions. So, ito naman po ay para sa mga batang 2 to 3 years old. So, as, ch as children develop a vocabulary and more independence, they will experiment with expressing emotion in new ways. Some of it will be productive like drawing and narrating a picture of the scary monster under the bed. Some of it will be more like throwing a tantrum in the grocery store because they can't get, they get cheese puffs. This can be a very difficult stage for adults as children experience complex emotions but have not yet figured out healthy versus unhealthy expression. In that stage, it is important that we know how to deal with that kind of emotions. How will you explain it to your child? Paano natin ma-explain sa ating mga anak? For example is, when he or she is narrating picture of a scary monster under the bed, uh, dapat mawala mo ang takot niya at maipaliwanag po natin sa kanya na hindi po totoo yun. How to foster growth naman in this stage sa mga batang 2 to 3 years old? So, meron ding tatlong paraan. First, stay calm when they aren't. So, times will happen. Hindi po talaga maiiwasan yan. 